Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's a beautiful week and a nice run off to the big, beautiful week. It's so nice to visit your classrooms and see what you're working on in your I am poems and your collages that you've been making. I can't wait to see them up around the school and celebrate you, you as poets. Uh, this morning, we're going to kick it off with the Pledge of Allegiance and Strive. Thank you, Henry. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another amazing week. Let's say Strive. Seek always to do your best. Treat people and property with respect. Revere the truth. Invest in your future. Value school rules, your heritage, and personal responsibilities, and enrich the world for all. This week's the R in Strive. That stands for Revere the Truth. We all know what the truth is, but do we all know what revere means? Revere means to hold great honor to something. For example, you shouldn't only tell the truth when you're in trouble. You should tell the truth every day, even if no one's paying attention. Now, let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone and have a good week. Thank you, Henry. Now we have the birthday cheer um, with Miss Tran. Hi, good morning everyone. Miss Tran here. I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's continue with faculty February birthdays. And we will do two truths, one lie, because that's what we've been doing. Oh, Miss Smart, Mrs. Smart. Her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Mrs. Smart. What a gorgeous ski photo. We hope you had a great birthday. She is our amazing PE teacher and admissions associate, which of these statements is not true. She received a real letter from the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. She loves to go on adventures and work in her garden. She has three kitties, her fur babies. Which of these is not true? Yep, you're right. If you guess the first one, she did not receive a real letter from the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. However, I thought that would be that would definitely be true because she loves Harry Potter, everybody. She test on her Harry Potter facts. I bet she knows more about Harry Potter than y'all do. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mrs. Smart. Oh, her fur babies, by the way, adorable. Okay, here we go. Next person. We have Miss Giuliano. She's celebrating her birthday on February 23rd, tomorrow. Happy early birthday. She is our fantastic partner AT for 1T. Let's take a look at these statements that she shared. Which of them is not true? She can identify most birds in the US by their calls. What? She ran competitive track internationally. Wow. She can speak Mandarin? Really? What do you think, everybody? You guessed it right, she cannot speak Mandarin. But wow, competitive track internationally, that's impressive. And the bird call thing, I wanna try that sometime. That would be pretty cool. Okay, and our final person, Mr. Caldwell, our beloved Mr. Caldwell. February 28th is his birthday, uh, coming up on Sunday. He's the amazing, fantastic, I'm gonna throw all the words that I already used, wonderful grade four teacher. Which of these statements is not true, everybody? He can solve the Rubik's Cube in one minute, 40 seconds. What? He can ride a unicycle? No way. He played keyboard in a rock band throughout high school? Yeah, Mr. Caldwell. Okay, so which one of these is not true? Yep, you're right. He cannot ride a unicycle, he cannot. But if he could ride a unicycle while doing the Rubik's Cube and playing a keyboard, that would be pretty sweet. Mr. Caldwell, happy early birthday to you. Everyone, it has been so much fun doing Two Truths, One Lie all month long. I will see you again, not next month, but in April for some more, okay? We'll talk to everybody later. Have a great week, bye. Thank you, Ms. Tran. I would like to announce the student birthdays this week. So if you have a birthday this week, go ahead and stand up. We have Travis Sullivan, Levi Fink, Hannah Malcolm, Gael Castillo, and Henry Trotter. Happy birthday this week. Uh, now we have the sentence of the week in Spanish and Mandarin. The phrase of the week is, 
Happiness is enjoying the small things in life. Repita en español. La felicidad es disfrutar las pequeñas cosas en la vida. Gracias. Muy bien. Ni hao. Wo shi ai xin lan. The phrase of the week is Happiness is enjoying the small things in life. Kuai le jiu shi xiang shou sheng huo zhong de xiao shi. When I say xie xie, please say bu ke qi. Xie xie. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, it is our final week of Black History Month. I've got my pin on, and I want to introduce Ms. Scott to um, share that with you. Hey, good morning, everyone. Are you able to see my screen okay? Okay, so this week is our final Still I Rise moment for Black History Month. Today for Still I Rise, we're celebrating activist and writer Marley Diaz. So she is our final person for Still I Rise. There she is. Um, Marley Diaz was born in West Orange, New Jersey. She made headlines as a sixth grader when she started the hashtag thousand black girl books campaign in order to collect children's books featuring black protagonists. For her book collection campaign, Marley has collected over 12,000 books to date. Wow. She is also the author of the book, Marley Diaz Gets It Done and So Can You. She has spoken at the White House United States of Women alongside Michelle Obama and Oprah, and was recognized by Time Magazine as one of the 25 most influential teens in 2018. On September 1st, 2020, Marley's new show, Bookmarks Celebrating Black Voices, premiered on Netflix. If you would like to learn more about Marley, I recommend checking out her new book, Marley Diaz Gets It Done, or looking for her show, Bookmarks, on Netflix. Now we'll, cl we'll close out our Black History Month video series with a clip of Marley reading the book, We March by Shane W. Evans. Hi, I'm Marley Dias. Welcome to Bookmarks, celebrating Black voices. We March is about taking action. So whether you're protesting, raising money, or collecting books, what counts is that you take action. We March is written and illustrated by Shane Evans and will be read by me. The morning is quiet. The sun rises and we prepare to march. We pray for strength. We work together. We come from all over to march. We follow our leaders, men, women, and children. We walk together. We sing. We are hot and tired, but we are filled with hope. We lean on each other as we march to justice, to freedom. To our dreams. My question to you all is, why do you think that people march or protest? Think about it, talk about it, and enjoy. Bye. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed 
learning about all of our Still I Rise moments throughout Black history. We had Matthew Henson, Mae Jemison, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and now Marley Diaz. Now Ms. Bellingham will close us out with some poetry. Thank you, Ms. Scott. On this last Monday of Black History Month, I wanted to share two poems written by one of the most celebrated and important American poets in our country. Her name is Nikki Giovanni, and she has written dozens of books of poetry and been honored with dozens and dozens of awards. I'm gonna read two of her poems from her gorgeous book, I Am Loved. The first one's called No Heaven. How can there be no heaven when, it, when rain falls gently on the grass, when sunshine scampers across my toes, when corn bakes into bread, when wheat melts into cake, when shadows cool and owls call and little finches eat upside down? How can there be no heaven when tears comfort, when dreams caress, when you smile, at me. I love that poem. And the next one is called Leaves. On a rainy day when I'm sitting in a tree looking for a friend, I hope you'll be the one standing at the root holding out your arms to gently catch my fall. I love that poem too. Let's all be the kind of friends who would hold out our arms for one another to gently catch a fall or offer a listening ear or be a person who stands up for justice. Have a wonderful Monday and a great 